Good morning. I want to talk to you this morning about the burden and the guilt we carry unnecessarily about things that we've done. When we lie, cheat, steal, gossip, we're unforgiving about something. We have this as a Christian, this weight of guilt. And some people, they manage it in different ways. Some people will try to ignore it and think that they just get busy and get on with something that it, it'll gradually go away. That's not the way to handle it. It doesn't go away. Some people, they feel like, well, you know, I've blown it. I might as well go ahead and sin all I want or do what I want because hopefully down the road I'll do something good and God will weigh it in the scales somehow and I'll come out okay. God forbid you do that. David gave us the model of how to deal with our sins. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 28, 13, when we conceal our sins, we don't prosper. But when we confess them and renounce them, we find mercy. I want to read you Psalms 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. And cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before you. Against you, and you only, have I sinned. Now, that's so incredibly powerful. Let me explain to you a couple of those words. He talks about sin, iniquity, and transgression. Sin is disqualifying yourself because of a violation of a trust relationship. Iniquity, it's the crime and the guilt that it carries. And then he talks about transgression, which is willful, knowledgeable violations of a standard or norm. David committed adultery and he committed murder, second degree. Both violations were worthy of death. And here's how he handled it. He asked for some, certain things. He said, Lord, give me your mercy. In the Hebrew, what does that mean? To bestow a favor on somebody that I can't rightly claim. When I ask for God's mercy, I can't rightly claim that. And your loving kindness, that means help for the helpless. I'm helpless, but I'm coming to you for help. And then said, mercy. The tender affection of a superior to an inferior. When I come to you for mercy, I'm an inferior, but I'm coming to a superior God and I'm asking because I'm helpless to get it unless you give it to me. Those are the words that David used when he came to God. And God, he said, I want you to do this for me. Blot out my sin. That means to wash clean a dish. And then he said, not only do I want you to blot that out, I want you to give me a clean conscience. Blot out my sin, he says. And when you blot that out, he said, I want you to purge me with hyssop, wash me, and make me whiter than snow. Blot out a clean plate, and like a dirty garment, make it clean again. And guess what? God forgave him. When God forgives you of your sin, that's different than when the world forgives. Because when God forgives you, he wipes it clear from the record and clear from his memory. God doesn't remember that anymore. Now, I want you to think about this. Now, other people may not forgive you. But if you've come to God and asked forgiveness on this basis, out of his justice. Now, listen, if God, when God forgives you, Either justice dies, or either somebody has to die. Who died? Christ died. He died, justice was implemented, and you go free. How incredibly gracious is that to us? Don't carry your sins when God has given you a way to forgiveness and cleansing and freedom. 
He wants you to be free from your sins. None of us are perfect. All of us sin. Go to God. He tells you that he will forgive you. God bless you and have a great day.